top of the moon Started at the bottom Dreamt of a Hellcat Now I got it Dreamt of a Corvette Now I got it Taking big leaps of faith No doubts about it Made my mama proud Made my mama proud Every time she see me Then even she just cracks a smile I made my mama proud Made my mama proud Episode 29, Have hey, No Fear. Hey, Top of the Moon Podcast is here.com. Look at the bop. Look at the bop with it, too. With the bop, with the bop, with the bop, with the bop. <laughs> Somebody get this get some asthma. <laughs> in an oxygen tank. Right. I bow down in the seat on the bitch. Man, I'm the guy. You know, 29 is one of my favorite numbers. You know, I'm a 929 baby. 92981, the birthday on the way, man. Be 41. For Mama sure. told me, man, you been 40 for the last 10 years, man. Hey, it do man. seem like it, though. No, it's been so because yeah. I didn't did so much in this year, baby. I'm a real nigga doing all type top level stuff. <laughs> That's what y'all see. Don't be right. talking about, man, are you still 40? I'm 40, boy. How it's about 40. that? You know what I'm saying? 41 coming. They don't try to rush my process because my 40 been long and luxurious. Like when I'm being your bitch. Damn. You luxurious in this bitch, huh? Got to be giving her that glory. Damn. From the third story. Oh, shit. Even though it's full. On the balcony. Got to do it. <laughs> let the got whole, to see the view. Let the whole world see. Man, who wants some? You know? <laughs> OnlyFans. Everybody, every time I be there, if you ain't got OnlyFans, they be always asking me that. <laughs> they be discouraging me, but it kind of props, but it's just like, Y'all think I'm gonna do that? Yeah, you should do it, brother. They be like, "Yeah, you ain't you, you ain't got no OnlyFans." I mean, I'm not the I'm not the girl scalp out. She like, "You ain't got no OnlyFans." I'm like, "No." She like, "You should." I'm like, calm down. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. You gonna let, are you gonna do million, it? Y'all? Let these millions shrivel up, Bobby. I'm dropping lumber. <laughs> we drop a big anchor in a bit, man. Straight up, I'll be OnlyFans. God I'll be the king of that motherfucker. How much motherfucking tool I'll be swinging around the motherfucking garage? <laughs> Don't play with me. Don't put me in that position, but I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh, I'm depriving shit. myself of a lot of millions, but I don't need it right now. You know what I'm saying? That's my secret weapon. Yeah, it's too. That's that all else fails type. Speaking of millions and not need millions, What's Tiger up? Woods. Shout out to my dog, Tiger Woods. He one of the ones. Put the whole lot of pussy, kept it real good. She here, real. Black man. Now he is. First he was. Big white man. Mode. Now he a. Black man. Looking all that <laughs> pussy, man. We're gonna give you some salutation, man. Shout out to him, man. But no, 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 no. Oh, Man. Oh, for, yeah. for turning down nine million. Tiger nine Woods was deal? off. Listen up. Tiger was Woods it? reportedly turned down nine figure deal. Hundred million to join. Hundred, nine hundred, not nine, just nine million. figures. But oh shit! You yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I got my GD in prison, brother. Listen, let me break it down for you real quick, damn brother. So nine join. figures. Is, now go ahead. You help me out, brother. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Damn it. So oh, yeah, listen, shit. it was a nine, <laughs> nine-figure deal to join the Saudi, the Saudi sports washing golf course okay. circuit, right? All so right. listen, this is what it is. The legendary golf champ Tiger Woods declined nearly $1 billion deal to play in the controversial Oh, tournament shit, I said, how many? I was way down there. Yeah, it was close, brother. Uh, and not it, that close, but it, thank you for trying to be nice. It's a, it's a tournament circuit bankrolled by the Saudi Arabia CEO operation they total. So it was like a situation out there by the Saudi government. It's some little, I don't know, there might be some underlinings behind it. He turned it down. Close to a billion dollars, sir. Wow. Listen, let me break it down for you. Norman said both Woods and Jack Nicholson, both who claimed was offered some $100 million, rejected the deals because neither wanted to jeopardize what the Post called generational legacies. So I guess it's more than like a money play. Huh. More than just you know, really building some foundation of their greatness. Because Jack Nicholson won the coldest of all time, the Golden For Bear, sure. and then you got Tiger Woods. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy that uh, they turned that down, bro. You know what I mean? So okay, let me help. Let me get some more con- context. Behind yeah, please, bro. Because you know, Woods, who is already one of the world's few athlete billionaires, according to Forbes. Could not immediately be reached. So they contacted him, couldn't reach him. You know, I'm reading that thing right there for you, boom. The uh, Live Golf Core venture has been slammed as a sports washing operation aimed at boosting the reputation of Saudi Arabia and their human rights violations of 2018, slaying and dismemberment of the Washington Post colonist Jamal, an American oh intelligence tournament that <laughs> killing was offered, oh was uh, ordered by Saudi <laughs> Crown Prince. What Muhammad. Mohammed bin Salim. So what it is, button. okay, so what they're trying to do is cover their tracks because they allegedly got a journalist. On, Come on, champ. Why are you going? 
Why you gotta talk about their name like that? What's his name? Bro, I don't fucking know. Can you say it for my damn brother? No, no, bro. You fucking, you were one ignorant mother. They killed him. They killed him and chopped him up, brother. So they try to. I hope y'all can see his name on the screen. That three just. They try to cover up. Cover you up dismembered the, his name. That's what you did. <laughs> the God. Yeah, I'm sorry. Scratch, scratch, scratch. The God up. How you say that, man? Fuck him. He dead. <laughs> he dead and chopped oh, up. Bro. I'm saying R.I.P., brother. No, no offense to him. Oh, Lord. But they, they guessed Nickerson, Mickerson. And uh, Tiger Woods turned it down. Just say the first name only. No, Jamal. Okay. So I can nigga, is it? You black? Just say the first name, brother. Go. Is he a black man? Come on, champ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they turned it down. <laughs> because, listen, because here a part right here. Mickelson said that Saudis are scary motherfuckers to get involved with during an interview earlier this year with journalist Alan Schnipnuck. And his unauthorized. Shipnuck. Is it Shipnuck or Snip? Come on. Bro. I can't everything. see the eye. I got Cartier's on, man. He's $7,000. got diamonds in my eye. You should be able to see it better because it's tinted. Shipnuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shipnuck was his unauthorized biographer. So he turned down. They, he said he's scared. He's scared motherfuckers out there. Sorry, okay. man. Because you got to know there's another quotation. He says, we know they killed Jamal and have a horrible recording of Amer American human rights. They execute people over there for being gay, knowing all this. Why would I even consider it? Mickelson said. I guess it's Phil Mickelson because this is one in a lifetime opportunity. Damn, that's crazy. He turned down all that money. They got some good pride, boy. You know, Mickelson also took a, a golf a break from golf and wake at his comments because he made those comments and he took a break off. They're probably trying to come get his goddamn ass. But now he's in an inaugural tournament of the Live Golf Tournament um, Series in London. So shout out to Phil Mickelson, man. Now, with that being said, you know, they, they're known. They're, that's what they're saying. Would you have turned know. it down? Man, hell no. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, Why well, I give a damn about Jamal Fo? They gave me nigga, close to a billion dollars. I'm out there doing, I'm swinging that golf puck. You crazy. And who was Tiger Woods anyway trying to cover his image? Nigga, all them hoes you was fucking niggas. Come on, man. Go get that money, fool. <laughs> what is he talking about, man? Oh, Allen. It's Allen. Oh, shit, Lord. It's, yeah. So, He's yeah. activated. <laughs> yeah, man. What Tiger Woods, what kind of reputation you got, nigga? Oh, Did you just fly off the damn cliff and all out here, nigga? What was you drunk? <laughs> oh, that nigga, man. Go get that money, boy. Come on, champ. What is he talking about? <laughs> Trying to save his image. Nigga, do you, nigga, have you, have you seen Relax. your own image? <laughs> Tiger Woods, go get that money, fool. <laughs> nigga, you gave half your money to the to your ex-wife when she bust you in the hair at that golf club oh, cheating on this shit. shit man. What kind of image you got? You need the money, boy. I don't give a oh. damn you got a billion. How you move with these hoes, nigga? You don't need another billion. But that show you they they do got some bread to shoot down that. Definitely. Damn that they pockets deep. Shoosh. Woo. Mm -hmm. But, but so. speaking of image, man. Right. Iman Shumpert. Iman. I like his energy, but that nigga funny. Iman Monkey Man Shumpert. Iman Monkey Face Shumpert. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. So Look at it him. says Iman Shumper reportedly arrested at Dallas airport after TSA found over six ounces of marijuana in his backpack. Nigga broke selling weed. Goddamn. You think Shoosh. This is too Nigga broke selling six ounces of weed. Come Goddamn on, Iman Shumper. One just on desk and went to stop doing all them coon Jimmy the Cricket dancing and shit. Black nigga. Huh? What are you doing? Now you selling weed, boy. Huh? Relax. What are you doing, nigga? You nigga, know what's crazy though? Nigga got six ounces of weed, dredgy too. I bet. I bet that shit a little packed like that little old little little, little ziplock pop was a draw. That nigga had Reggie, man. It was Reggie. Nigga out there with little goddamn Nick bags. Oh, he all oh, two for ten. Had a ziplock bag, little sandwich bag. Plumped them up good. Then he tried to plump up, blow the air in the, in the clothes quick. <laughs> <laughs> we call on to you, boy. So a mind shepherd caught with six ounces of Reggie in his backpack at TSA in Dallas. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That is tight week. Yeah, but that's a state I, jail felony. But I, but 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 I, I fuck with you, my shepherd. You seem like a cool. You nigga. do? Yeah, you seem like a cool nigga. Okay. You seem like you know what I'm saying. It didn't seem like a nigga that really had to work to get his position and what he got too tight. Yeah, ball. It was a baller too. Yeah, definitely for sure. Dummy bunnies. You listen yeah. to his music. Uh, no, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't. I'm just keeping it. Why you? <laughs> why? Why you? I'm saying, no, I'm saying his interviews. I said I fuck with his interviews. I said that early on. I the just Vlad say, Moots. I ain't just say yeah, all the Vlad. He got his own podcast too, don't he? Oh, do he? Yeah, shit, yeah. I ain't Him and his that. brother, I think. Yeah, that's what's up, man. On uninterrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Gilbert Arenas got his own one too. They got you know, Fubu. Sports. I ain't gonna lie, be tapping on Gilbert Arenas. Shit, he's a wild boy. He be talking that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He funny. Say you might be a T belly low key. Yeah, don't he, he a wild nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout just, out to T belly. Calm and just blunt. Uh, yep, yeah, calm, blunt, and obliterating shit. And whatever. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, 
Okay. Just call it as they see it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Well, yeah. Man, he was a baller, too. But yeah. uh, Mon Shepard, you know, keep it real. Just six ounces of weed. Who care about weed? Like, yeah. Weed is legal in all these states, man. Like, he's stopping it. I don't know why. He probably, but he probably was high. You know what I'm saying? He probably, he was, probably was high, getting on it, and forgot it in his backpack. You know what I'm saying? But then I said it to you with Brittany Grinder. I know it's a different country, brother, but. That's a whole different situation. bitch in a whole different country, man. Goof ass. You know so you, but you, that's a valid excuse for him, that you're saying? Yeah, he's in America. Okay, because that's what I was going to say. He's in Russia in a war torn country. No, where no, they, no, no, for sure, for sure. Hey, brother, looking for hey, brother, a I'm, not, I, I'm not even arguing uh, with she you. She totally deserves All it. I'm saying is. Look, hands is up, brother. All Big I, white man. All bro. I'm saying is, right. is that I was going to give him the same excuse. Like, he was probably just high, loaded, forgot. Well, yeah, you know I said to Mary, I ain't tripping on him. I mean, he got bread. He got a lot of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? From his black MTV interviews, what he was saying? Man, like, he was just on Dancing with the Stars, man, trying to take a dollar. <laughs> no, Get I, it. Getting the money, getting the bag. You'd be on Dancing with the Stars if they offered you a bag. Now, if I got millions, I wouldn't you do, do it. You do now. No, I don't. Not like that. Now I get on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> If I was in the NBA and I retired, I got 40, 50 million doing that. That means you didn't pocket slot. But it's cool. It didn't get your money. I ain't going to get your money. But maybe you might want more money. Nah, I ain't dancing. I ain't finna be up there. Dude, dude, hello, my darling. Hello, the damn frog from WB dancing and shit, nigga. But I think you'll do good with this on stuff. I could do whatever, brother. I'm motherfucking. Damn! We know that. Damn, yeah. like, come on, man. One of the ones. But I ain't gonna do no dancing with the stars. No, that Didn't Master P do dancing with the stars? Did he? Yeah, he did. It was oh, funny. Man. Shout out to Master P. Yeah, that shit was embarrassing. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's up there looking like motherfucking Robocop. <laughs> he was dancing. He, was, he, he had a little No Living Soldier shoes on out there. Crazy. See? Yeah, he was wild. No Living Soldier shoes, boy. Yeah, yeah. Were they the Giuseppe or something like that? Yeah, but I, I just feel like that's what starts cool, but it always like the car to base nigga one before. Coon. Nigga be cooned out. Oh, oh that joint, shit, man. Man. I dance with no damn stars. So that's the stereotype you say come with it. When you on there, you tap. Yeah, I feel like it. I feel like you, because you tap dancing for the white man for some money, but that shit goofy. That's you a good analogy. Saying? Yeah, Master P was definitely on... Um, Definitely on uh, Dancing with the Stars. You know what I mean? So, But, hey, shout out to him, man. Get your money. But, hey, Amon Shepard, brother, be mindful, brother. You got kids and shit, man. Be mindful what you're doing, brother. Ride, flying around with marijuana. And, you know what I'm saying? Niggas I mean, he seemed like a pretty self-aware dude. That's what I'm saying. So, yes, he must have been something. Just, yeah, he was just slacking that day. Yeah, look at Master P up there in that Papa Smurf suit. Come on, man. I can down, down. Got there, damn. But then on my baby. Come on. But like the WB frog. You know oh, not the WB bro. So them niggas dancing, <laughs> you knock the whole damn table. God damn it, niggas! You ain't catching the first the time. WB bro. Come on, my lady. No, Come on. It's W. It's W. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm a cool. No, I said, shout out to my nigga Dave Chappelle. He's the real person that can do it. The WB bro. Oh shit. It's the WB. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> you know, I'm praying a little slow sometimes. Come on, brother. You supposed to caught that Jimmy oh, when I dropped it on the ground, brother. No, that was saying? funny. I picked up the second one, though. Yeah, shit. man, in the Jimmy Cricket suit. like So, Fuck. man, I just I ain't with it, bro. So, shout out to my shepherd, yeah. brother. But come on, man. Be on point, man. You got kids and all that, man. You don't be, <laughs> Take care of yourself, brother. Don't be out here. Got Reggie in the, in the airplane. You know what I mean? Yeah, who else was that? It wasn't Mayweather on there, too, though? On what? On Dancing with the Stars? Hell no. He wasn't? Nigga, never. He Who, ain't doing that. There was that. somebody that was. That Mayweather was a, got some money, man. Yeah, he got money, but yeah, shit, yeah. I, was, I was trying to defend the people that was on there. Yeah, Mayweather was on there. You know, he good. So. It was Sugar Shane Moly. Oh, uh, okay. We okay. know he broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw, God. Mm -hmm. he saw, hey, it's, it's speaking of the. Uh, that's the boxer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of him, right? I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to just throw it out of it. Mm -hmm. But I remember, I was like, okay, it got to be him, right? Historical. Yeah. He was a historical individual, though. Yeah. But but okay. So with that being said, do you think that uh, what, what's going on with all the boxers? Like where's like like Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder? I think Deontay Wilder said coming back. He had that statue made. Shout out to him for getting the statue made. That was some three of them shit, boy. One that, of the ones. Yeah. So he got the statue made. I don't see he dropped like a new singing song too. Yeah, yeah, I remember. He's I playing think the piano or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you sent it to me. Shout out to Deontay Wilder, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Go ahead, and get your mind right, bro. Before you come all the way back for you. Know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't. Why, why you don't think it's mine, right? I mean, he got the shit beat out of him, but he's a legendary nigga, but he got the shit beat out of him. But I think it was the gloves again, man. Tyson got the goddamn gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not this shit again. God damn. <laughs> not the motherfucking gloves, <laughs> man. Bro, you got the shit. Oh, no. You got to chill, bro. Give it up, the glove shit, man. You ain't giving it up yet. <laughs> Listen, bro. The first one, it did look like the gloves was crazy. Uh, maybe mentally he just, you know, because he had like an egg, egg thing in the glove the first time. So it's like the second, it probably did damage on that first time, bro. Like irreputable damage type. You know what I'm saying? No? Big white man. Bro. That's all it was. What was that? Uh, uh, egg weight. Egg weight. That's what it, 
So a nigga going to a heavyweight championship. And it was cha- floppy too, bro. So a nigga going to a heavyweight you- championship match with a full egg weight in his fucking hands. Well, how do you excuse the pictures? Pull up the pictures for me, please. Oh, my God. We're going to this again. We yeah, already yeah. did this before, But, but still, okay, okay. He lost the, the second one. got the shit beat out of first, second, and I third. Like, listen, I like Tyson Fury. I like Deontay Water. Me but I'm too. saying, how do, you, how do you make up those pictures? It's called internet. No, nah, bro. It's flappy, bro. You can make anything on the internet. Are you crazy? You can. Yeah. Easy. But how do you put the dent in his head? How do you get the dent in his head? Because you hit a nigga with a big ass. A egg nigga, weight. A nigga that's 300 pounds, nigga that's 6'9", punch you in the damn head 90 times. Yeah. I Let guess. the nigga be out. Listen, I fuck with Wilder, man. He got the living shit beat out of him, man. That's all it was. Tyson Fury got hurt, too. He said, nigga, he got in ripital brain damage after that fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's all, man. It ain't no cheating, bro. You got to put Tyson Fury gloves Tyson Fury. Remember, Greg, he knocked, man, they what? both got each other knocked out a few times. Yeah, Tyson one, Fury said he felt like his, his brain ain't the same since that fight. Damn, for real? Yeah, he said that. He said, I feel like I got brain damage after that shit. That's why he's trying to retire. He did, But you know what's crazy? In that fight, Deontay Wilder did give up his whole blueprint again at the beginning. As soon as he started swinging the bitches and shit got for real, got he, that's scratched the whole he, shit. He's 40 years old. They think he's going to change his whole shit in a couple months? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That ain't going to happen. Well, it was more like a couple years. When it, well, how long was it between the first fight and the second fight? It wasn't that long. They wait diligently checked them gloves this time. Oh, they checked it every time, and he beat the living life out of him. Yeah, Here's what it is: he fought act. good. I ain't saying like he. Nigga, it was a great. If it wasn't no, if it wasn't, if it wasn't Tyson Fury, anybody else would have been knocked out smooth, dead. Tyson you know? Fury, that nigga though. Yes, he is. He, he is might, that nigga. I, I always tell people I think he may be the best heavyweight of all time. Because if you did match him up with Ali, it's trouble. Yeah, beat the living shit out he of him. Match him up with Foreman, trouble. The living shit out of him. Because yeah. he fight the hardest. He Evander Holyfield, ever. trouble. It's too little. George Frazier, trouble. Too little. Yeah. And he he quicker than all. He quick like Ali, and now he hit harder than the motherfucker. Yeah, that's bigger true. than them all. Yeah, cause little dude, no niggas, niggas, niggas sleeping. But Ali was ba- basically bigger than Foreman too. Ali was bigger than mostly everybody. People yeah. just hear the t- how he was smooth and all that. Ali was a big dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury really that nigga boy. Man, for sure. Only sure. person I think that I give him a run for his money is Lennox Lewis. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see That's that. That's the one that... I can see that, though. Yeah, that Lennox Lewis one. might goddamn, you know what I mean? That'd be a good one. Because he got crazy size, crazy skill, crazy everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Cool. Who beat Lennox Lewis, though? Who was that? I forgot. <laughs> that was the scene, Rockman. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He only lost... How many times did he lose? I think he lost like once. I think it was that... This, but that was a one-hitter quitter, boom. Ain't he and, from London? Lennox, Lennox yeah, Lewis, right? Yeah, and then like... Him and Anthony Joshua don't be getting long tight. No, he don't because he nigga I'm better than all you. Like he, he kind of cool with him, but he like nigga yeah. I whooped you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, <laughs> and then like with Klitschko, Klitschko, it seemed like anyway. Klitschko I don't know had that personal. He, he, they just got a draw because he got hit in his eye technical. He quit after that because oh, okay. he was going at Klitschko like at his prime. He hit that eye was fucked up and they could stop the fight. So they stopped Lennox Lewis. Yeah, so, with Klitschko. So, so he technically lost. That he one. didn't lose though. Oh, uh, he just yeah, he won. It. He was already up in the cards, whatever. Uh, but he okay. was nigga. It was a brutal punch that fucked this shit up. But they stopped it. You know what I'm saying? So how did he stop it? Because this is how I got, but he win. I mean, nigga, if you got, if I, if, I, if you get cut in a fight, we're gonna go off the scorecards to there. Uh, it's okay. gonna be a draw. It's gonna be whatever's in the scorecard at the time. We're yeah. gonna stop. Boom. You know what I'm saying it ain't no. You ain't whoop me, nigga. I just got it. But wound. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out my little brother, Dead John. He'd beat all their ass, man. Shout Professional Jones, boxer, man. man. But I like I always tell you, gotta up my people. Yeah. You, why not? I yeah. just feel like uh, Tyson Fury to me personally um, is the best heavyweight of all time. People can say what they want to. That is my opinion, man. Just how I see yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Especially sure. last. And then for a person. And boxing ain't no easy shit. Yeah, then for a person to, to take them years off, suicidal and all, and come back and then whoop one of the hardest hit niggas in the history of life. Yeah. Undefeated facts. nigga with all the knockouts. Man, come on, man. With That's crazy. With purest confidence at that time, too. So oh, which, about he had he no doubt he was going to He had a different type of understanding. He didn't want to pull him out of retirement. Yeah, for sure. And got to live in life, beat out him, beat his whole career out of his body. That's when being too kind of go wrong. But huh? it's okay, but at least he went, he went for it. You he went for it, though. Yeah, yeah. And that what counts. He can only say an all-time great nigga did that to him. That's a super fact. He's so, got to accept it, man. Yeah, Even though sure. he a goddamn big white man move. But he a gypsy, though, so it's a different type of white. Yeah, so we're going to accept that. You know what I mean? You've always said that. They on the outskirts are like regular whites. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah. We can't get too mad. Like, he regularly he don't give a fuck about regular white yeah. people. Them One thing living. I respect with Wilder, though, is that he went back into that bitch. You see oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he, like, not only the you know, first time, okay, that was one thing. Second time, whoa, you know what I'm saying? But then the thing was, is like, you know what I mean? Hey, he was ready to die by it though, brother. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so was. you got you got to respect anybody that's gonna get in that ring. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, for sure. That's, all jokes aside, all jokes my, aside, my brother wouldn't fight on him. But I'm saying my brother, yeah. he got in that ring. He was fighting people. He was going at a high level with the shit, and he ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? So right. anybody get a ring, even though we make fun of like like what the media does, not me, of people that are like basketball players, football players that yeah. get in that ring yeah. and all that shit. Like a lot of people talk shit about Adrian Peterson in this upcoming fight he's got going hey, with Le'Veon Bell. He looked hey, real slow. Yeah, you dropped like thirty on uh, Le'Veon Bell. That too. was easy. I yeah, murdered yeah, him. You my MVP man. Yeah, yeah, he but, died. Yeah, yeah, Famous sure. lows, all your niggas. Oh, yeah, I was peer embarrassed on that one. It's but okay, but it's all right, though. I mean, for uh, Venice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nick, give me the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was mad at the motherfucker. I, I was so deflated that damn day. But uh, was going hard. I don't even want to talk about it, brother. Okay. Let's not even talk about it. I just prefer not to talk about it, please. Uh, that they will forever haunt me, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so let's just not talk about it. Oh, like, it was a lot going go on. Let's just go Come on, come on, bro. We ain't going to add none of that extra to the shit, brother. Let's talk about something. Hey, brother, I threw myself in there. was not an invite for you to jump in and goddamn stomp on a nigga brain. I don't know anything about myself. No, 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 I'm cool. No, I definitely want to. I'll slap the fuck out that nigga. Hell yeah. What, nigga? Yeah, boy, that shit still made me hot think about that bitch ass nigga. Oh, Lord. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah. What he did to you, what you did to me. I mean, he did to you, you did to him what I did to you. You was you mad at him. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't Damn. right. It ain't right, but nigga, I don't give a fuck. Don't nigga. get it fucked up or misconstrued. Yeah, because I don't like his energy out of type. Even though, yeah, nigga, so what? Nigga, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that nigga, oh, boy. My. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. It's a little video of my shit. That nigga has zero. Boy, let me oh, see. Just open up okay, some shit. Let see, go. let me I relax. Let it, I let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because, boy, my palms don't fuck. I swear I, I just want to slap the fuck out of my Because you want to do it then, yeah. What? Let's if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, I calmed it down. Boy, all fucking five yeah. of these bitches. Were I was there. Me. I yeah, like to be yeah, there yeah. for my brother. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm, I'm gonna be there for you, brother. Yeah, hey, well, you, see, you, you fucked up my energy, nigga. I was, I was having fun and shit. You fucked up my energy, boy. Relax. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up my energy. Because you didn't hear what I was saying. When no, I, was I didn't hear. I was, yeah, but then I thought you were trying to see you fucking around though. Oh, so you gonna make me call a motherfucker on the show on a first name basis? Don't do that. Don't play with me. Hey, that was a legendary game. It was a lot of legend. OBJ was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, fuck all that shit. Here, here, yeah, here's the thing though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to make like the media want to make fun of people when they try to get in them rings and all that shit. Right. And but the thing is though, in all reality, the thing is is y'all got to give them their glory because they getting in there in front of the whole world. Even Nate Robinson, y'all got to y'all got to fuck with Where him. Where Nate at? Boy, listen, <laughs> listen, that shit ain't funny. Listen, nigga, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you that you ain't no telling what that mentally did to him. Nah, that's hard. What? That was hard. Niggas, you crazy? And then you got to understand being a butt nigga. You don't even like a motherfucker cracking a joke on Big. you. Uh, no. Imagine that, nigga. I know. What? Yeah. And that can happen to anybody, even you, nigga. No matter sure. how invisible you believe you nah, is. I believe. It can happen to anybody when you box a nigga. Yeah, that you know one, what I'm hit, that Any, one hit. Move. Yeah, anybody could go out with that Because even if a nigga hit you once and now, you don't mean they can really, really whip you, whoop you like yeah. that. 100%. You know what I'm yeah. But Definitely got to chop it up with him after, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to holler at him, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, um, so it's yeah. like anybody, nigga, just because a nigga knock you on me, he can whoop you, but. How right. you gonna get that back though? It's like Facts. so it's tough. Yep. That shit ain't no joke. But he definitely couldn't whip him. He can't fight. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Not no box ring fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So but, but hey, salute you for getting in that ring. Yeah. Some of the most funny. The ring. And thank you for the entertainment, sir. It's just you, you sign up for entertainment, that was entertainment. You know what yeah. I mean? Don't get But don't I, get mad about I, I pray for his mental health though. On some real shit. I, I pray for Nate Robinson's mental health. And anybody that get in that motherfucker and that bitch ain't go the way you wanted to, and then you did it in front of the whole world. Y'all think y'all gonna go in there and just get a quick money bag grab. But listen, you got to know what you got to know. Side, you got to know what? both sides of it. Yeah, yeah. What? Unless, that's what I'm saying. Most people that's doing that, they desperate for the bag. You know what I'm saying? For the yep. most part, some ain't though. Like I don't feel like Darren Williams is thirty for no money. That nigga money way too long. You talking about the basketball? Player? Yeah, yeah. When he went in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. He, he, he was, just wanted to do it. He, he been just wanted to box. Yeah, yeah, for that sure. That nigga money ape. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Oh, come on, bro. too much. Yeah, hundred percent. He just wanted to knock a nigga out, and he did. Yep, yep, yep. For I'm sure. Saying? But dude, the Frank Gore fought another fight, knocked the nigga out though, like recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um. What about uh, Lamar Odom was in there? Oh, he can't fight. He embarrassing as fuck. He need to stop it. He need to get the hell out of here. I think he'll beat your ass, man. Man, I put that nigga in nine comas. But I don't want to fight no niggas. If I ever get in the ring with somebody, going to be a white man. I don't want to whoop no niggas. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't Too want Lamar Odom to do that to you either anyway. Yeah, yeah. But who, so who you would like to yeah, fight? I'd kill him. But... Um, <laughs> I don't know. It don't matter. I mean, I always said I wanted to fight Bradley Martin, the big white boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Frankenstein. I Come on, Bradley Martin, line it up with him, man. Yeah, let's go, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, Black man. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I know what I do. But, you um, get him? Yeah, easy. Okay. It'd be too easy, nigga. I don't study niggas. You know I do. I see everything.
After yeah. Joshua got to go for the um, rematch. I fuck with Anthony Joshua, though, bro. Me too. He got to go to the heavy. He got to go for a rematch against Usyk that he lost to already. Yeah. And um, after that fight, Josh, I mean, Fury should fight Anthony Joshua regardless or he fight the winner of that fight. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think that'd be dope. I mean, it will be. They almost lined up the Joshua and Fury fight yeah, in Saudi yeah. Arabia. They had it all booked out, but it yep. ended up going awry. You know yeah. what I mean? So I, I definitely want to see I that fight. I thought the Wilder interrupted that, though. No, that was after. Oh, that was even after? That was after. It was like Damn. a couple months ago. Oh, shit. They almost had it going, but he was like, mandatory, you got to fight the dude that, you know what I'm saying, uh, beat him. Okay. They well, were almost, but they almost gave, like, I think Anthony Joshua, like, 50 million not to fight the rematch so dude could fight Fury. You see, could fight Fury. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't take Find it. Find money grab tight. Yeah, he like, nah, I ain't Because they give you money, step aside, so we could go this way. But he right. like, nah, I need the glory. Yeah. He need to go ahead and die on his sword. He's going to lose, but he need to go ahead and do that. Yeah, well, at least you know he said fight happen. But shout out to him. He ain't scared. He just, yeah. that chin. Yeah. Listen, I mean, once it's well, gone, it's gone. Well, speaking of boxers, <laughs> speaking of chin, speaking about some real power, right? right? Uh, Mike Tyson was just uh, on a podcast with uh, Kenan Thompson. Yep. Right? Oh, Talk. man, that shit was fucking hilarious. Please go. One of the best. Leave Mike you Tyson You ain't watched that Mike Tyson and the Kevin Hart one yet? No, not yet. That's not all one. the way. Not fully. I probably watched okay. about 15 minutes of it. I ain't get to watch the rest. That's another good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm take him down that, 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 that motherfucking yeah, drain. Yeah, to the deep end. Yep. I, I seen some of it. I didn't get to see all of it, so I can't really tap in with the whole thing yet. But uh-huh. uh, but him and Ken Thompson, though? Top level. One of the best ones. Seen that boy. That fucking That's one of the best ones. hilarious. That's one of the best, deepest Tyson ones. Oh, like he acting man. full dumb. And then Keenan must not have been in the loop. But that's one of his good friends. He really cool with him. He is. Now, I heard him talking about it, but I didn't say. That's what he said. Because you know Hollywood, everybody friends. That's true. I don't know. I can't press it. I don't know. I'm pressing it, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Because God damn it, what was that? There's no, no way. <laughs> yeah, fine. You know what I'm saying? No, no. <laughs> no shout out to DC, man. The composer at Paris. No, uh, but no, you got to think about it, bro. I don't think so, bro, because there's no way you act, you going to act that dumb with Mike Tyson on the air with the mook. And you I don't know, know how I think you get Tyson out? might was toted up on his little mushrooms and just was Don't matter. Leave Tyson alone. Toted up or not. He went crazy. Just though. leave him alone. Because he's going to do what he's going to do. And then you got to understand when he get activated. Nigga, you got to understand. We good friends. Right. I know when you activate, nigga. Right, right, you know right. when I'm activating. You know when not to do you shit with me. I know when down. not to do shit with you. Right, we know right. when to stand down with each other. Right, right, right. So, nigga, if y'all good friends, he could do. He should have knew when to stand should've the fuck down. Should have left it alone trying to get his point across. Nigga, you ain't getting no point across with me, boy. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Good and if he's your good friend, you're going to know. Right. That's you got to give him his time. But he talked, but he on the store show, he talked about him getting his Hollywood Walk of Fame star. You know what I'm saying? It was type of Rosa. He, oh, you ain't got no. You ain't that was who kid say that? Yeah, but still, nigga. And he went crazy on him. So, nigga, I don't worry about no Walk of Fame, nigga. When the whole world is done in a thousand when, years, because when he said matter. it, did Keenan say anything? Nope. See, he was smiling like that picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, I got you. I got you, nigga. So he went crazy. Tyson ain't going. Yeah, yeah. For so sure. shout out to Keenan Thompson, man. Get his Walk of Fame star. Um, yeah. I, I feel like. I didn't realize I wanted one until I went to the Walk of Fame and looked. I'm like, nigga, I, that's my end game goal. Walk on to have a statue and I need a I need a Mr. Walk Organic Star in the Walk of Fame. That'd be legendary. I need that. When I seen them, I was like, oh, I need one of these. Yeah, that's, that's top the, level. Yeah, that's definitely not a goal of mine. I need one of them bitches. Shit, I'm trying to get low, not get high on it. I need a Walk of Fame Shit. Star, baby. <laughs> Give me one of them Walk of Fame. Don't put me on the pedestal. Take me off the pedestal. Shit. Put me up there, baby. Shit, not me. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the money. I want to get away from all this shit. Give me the money. Well, I run to, motherfucker better be scared. I run to a motherfucking hundred million boy. You're going to disappear on the whole. I'm, I'm deleting every platform man, in I'm this fucking get, earth. I'm going to be damn Brazilian, man. I'm going to be out here motherfucking going on yachts. I'm going to be in, in, in NASA spaceships, man. I'm going to yeah. be goddamn scuba diving in the abyss. Everything, man. Yeah, yeah. See, we, we and Jazz, we'll be on a yacht somewhere in the middle of the ocean somewhere. And the only time we're going to transport is by a helicopter or Love plane. Go subscribe. Oh, yeah. Sure. What, 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 uh, Shout out to my wife, Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it, Slim. Damn. Definitely go subscribe. But no, yeah, yeah. And the only way you go transport, we're going to be transporting in helicopters with 0% all around on all the windows. You can't see nothing. Only the pilot can see with special glasses. Let me get it. We out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to do none of that. You know what I mean? We're going to just be out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to even get a low key yacht. But speaking of uh, 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 duos, too, right? Right. That's another thing with Keenan. Keenan and Kale. Before Kenan we get off that Good subject, bugger. right? That's one thing that's more legendary about us. His man. wife been talking crazy about Kale too. Man. For real? Talking about he was turd burglary. Keenan was talking about his, his wife. Keenan's wife talking about Kale. Kale, Kale wife. Kale wife was talking, talking about, about Kale. 
Oh, they, they divorced. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, I was saying like, turd burglary with Nick Cannon and all that. Oh, say, hey, brother, twenty twenty two, do what you like, whatever yeah. you prefer. If he wants his turd b- stole, let him get his turd stole. Maybe he's just saying that because you know women be saying shit yeah. when they get hurt. You know what I'm saying, be lying on nigga type of shit. That's true. You know what I'm saying, he's just mad because you ain't end up with them type. That's true. What yeah, about good boy? Because why you ain't say it till after the divorce type? Yeah, you you was in there stealing my turds when I was doing. It. You like my turd stole? <laughs> when you with me, baby? No, but I was saying the point I was getting to is like that's what makes our duo so legendary as well too. You know right. what I'm saying? Because if you look at all the legendary duels. Keenan and Kells, all right. that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like most of them break up right. over a long period of time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Is one start to get too much money, then one start to come to other person's pockets, mm-hmm. and then, then they fall out that they're no longer friends. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Even whether it's about women, because it'd be niggas that'd be tripping about women too, right? The, the number one thing. So, so like think about that. We, you no know, telling what he could have been telling about what the woman said type. Maybe a woman got in between type. Because he ain't supposed to do that. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both free agents. Let's both hunt. You should be hunted. Snipers. So you shouldn't be hating on them. If, if, if he married type, it was Kel. You was don't like, block the kill, no matter what. Because Keenan's single, right? He ain't married, so. right? Nigga was married at home. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, if Kel, yeah, you know, you get what I'm trying to say, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She yep. be on that type of time. Let you know what I'm eat. saying? But legendary duo, and they they broke it up. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then they they was and iconic. One was iconic on the uh, Saturday Night Live. Been on there for like 20 seasons. Yeah, but they ain't those man no oops from the looks the of other me. Other man type. type. Really working that good burger type. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Damn. You know what I'm saying? saying, but you don't know what went on behind the scenes. Never Keenan know. could be the real one. Kel could be the fake one. Yeah, or or Kel might got full goddamn uh, chameleon type stocks and then ownerships and goddamn. Yeah, he might have some shit really going on. Just got low and said, "Fuck everything." Come on, man. Could be that too, because you know social media be smoking mirrors. Because you never know. Keenan could be the fucking tapped and Kel could be the one up. Yeah, you always got to calculate the reality of understanding. Just because one famous and type more out there, don't that mean don't mean nothing. Do. That don't mean that's guaranteed that they win like that in real life, though. Facts. So don't put me in that perspective. Speaking 100%. Of, speaking of winning in real life, man. Yep. Shout out to my dog, DJ Callis Heritage, for the drop the new album. I see yep. he got Hove on that joint, too. That nigga always get, get Hove, on Hove. He always get Hove on his album. Hove fuck with Khaled. He fuck that man heavy, man. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? He, see he got Hove on a new album. Well, you, you know, know Khaled is a slim brain nigga. He gonna shoot them shots. To the end. He gonna shoot them shots. He, he the awesome hey, come man. on, man. We, oh, he gonna do it every day. <laughs> yeah, he gonna do yeah. it every day. Hey, so what we doing, man? We got anything? Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, do it every, every day, every yeah, day. I take no for no I always used to watch DJ Khaled like interviews, man, especially when he was coming back yeah. up and he used to talk that history because you could tell it was real when for he was sure. like on his last leg. You can't type. fake that type of He was serious, man. Like they they forgot about me. They won't be finished. We know that yeah. feeling. Yeah. Oh, so when he what? say that, people do might we? be laughing, but we know he's serious. They yeah. want, they try to finish me. They didn't believe in me. They didn't believe, but guess God, what? I believed in me. God did. God did. They didn't believe in me. Yeah. They gave up on me. But I didn't believe did. him. I believed in myself. And guess who else did? God did. He was. He found another mook when he did that. Yeah, that he, God did is hard. God did. Yeah, facts. I get it. Yeah. But he dropping his new single with um with little baby and uh, Drake, and uh, said Jake got that nineteen mook. He, he just uh, made the uh, announcement. He got nineteen again, man. That vid nineteen, man. You gotta be censored. These niggas want to flag everything, dude. Type. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying. Getting the c word. Yeah, he got that vid nineteen mook, man. So shout out to Drake, man. Recover, man. Stay out the way, man. Stay jumping on that exotic pussy you doing, brother. Say something for me. God damn, man. You know what I mean? Leave a little taste for the God, man. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope that 19 slow him down a little bit and uh, smidge it, you know? That's what I'm going to say to him. Yeah, Drake, boy. Hey, the but God! He's been on top for a long time. He's going hard. He dropped that little dance album and all that, man. And all How'd you feel about that? Man, I feel nothing about it. I feel it was weird, but do him his business. I ain't going to lie, nigga. I fuck with you. You know why I fuck with it? Explain to me, sir. Evolution, man. He's evolving. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this would be the crazy part that kills me, right? Open up different portals. There, there you go. This is the thing that kills me, right? So. You're Mr. Organic. I'm a tall guy, right? Right. Drake is Drake. Obviously, come on, there's some understanding, right? But you got to think before, One you, before you get to Drake's level, you know what I'm saying? You got to evolve a billion times For sure. before you get to that level of that recognition. Right. Right? But even at our level, you got to think. So if somebody comes and say, hey, uh, three, I want you to be like how you was in Minnesota. I missed them days. I hear it all the time. You got to evolve, though, brother. Like, yeah, I hear it all the, the time. What the fuck are we talking about? You if you want that, go watch them videos. Yeah, it's split. That's what people tell people, yeah. Go watch them videos. Or you but want now, the old hole, live to the other hole. Yeah, but come on, man. You got go to evolve. To the old one, and, but the thing is, though, is like, they'll say they want that. But then the thing is, if you consistently just want that, and I consistently just be that, how long is it before you tune out of that? They're going to be gone like this. 100%. And that's why I say, like, y'all, motherfucker don't know what they want until they stick it down your fucking throat. You know, that's homo, true, you know what man. You, you can't. Can't listen to them people, man. You gotta do you. So like, I ain't mad at it. I don't listen to Drake like that anyway, for the most part. So, but I, I understand I the business, it. man. I understand the businessman move of it, and it went number one. So anything that's evolving and is growing and is enterprise and right. is ownership and is breaking barriers, I'm with it, man. For sure. Shout out to him. It's and it says more legendary. about the people. 
uh, than him if you don't want that for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, I have no problem with you it. You ain't no true supporter because the true supporters are going to really want you to evolve and be yeah, better. I definitely ain't supporting nigga, but shout out to him, though. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm saying like just whether how you'd want your supporters to be. If you make a move and you want to try something new, you would want them to support that. You know Mandatory. I do need that. That's what I'm saying. So that's how they should be for him, too, if you're a supporter of him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and it went number one and it put him in a whole different cat. Cascade of yeah, yeah. Uh, entertainers. And his thoughts is far, like whoever's judging that album, his, his thoughts is far beyond yours. Right. He's in music, he does he's doing this it shit. For you think he's just gonna put out some bullshit? That's crazy. And he know how people are gonna respond, but the thing is though, if he got in-game vision and understanding the, for his craft and what he wants to do and where he wants to put his life at the end by the time he crossed the finish line, then that's part of his motherfucking plan. Yeah, let you it be. Saying? God's plan. Why do people gotta be so God vocal plan. about some shit they, they don't like? Bums, they broke. Damn. They called termites. They that's all true. on another nigga wood. Nah, that was a good one. Damn! It never been used before. Niggas gonna run with the termite. God damn, I didn't get one of them. Gay these motherfuckers know, man. Damn! <laughs> like, you the on that nigga wood. Yeah, man. all on that nigga wood. It ain't your wood, man. Why you on my wood? Yeah, yeah. This ain't yours. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wood, damn. Wood, wood chewers. You know what I mean? But shout yeah. out to him. Also, I've seen uh, another breaking news thing. Um, Nicki Minaj. Dad got killed right not too long ago. Got ran over by a car, like accidental. Oh shit! Yeah, it was a while back though. Accidentally ran him over or some shit like that. Damn. You know what I'm saying, and uh, R.I.P. to him, not too long ago. And uh, her and the older one of her brothers went to prison for like pedo shit. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, that was crazy. But anyway, the dude that ran over her dad was finally sentenced. He was sentenced to one year in prison. Of course, he a big one big year. white man mode. Fully killed the human, and he only got one. But we don't year. know the details of the case. I mean, it was a hit her and dad, run. You know what her dad could have been? It was a hit and run. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, like, but you know what it could have been? Not her dad. But you know what somebody, like, nigga, think about it like this. If, let's say he was uh, walking, you know them niggas that be walking across the street acting like they can't get hit by a car, but yeah. it's not. But, in the, okay, let's read this right here. Let's zoom that up real quick, man, because it's showing it. I you know what I'm it. saying, though, right? Yeah, yeah, make that big so I can read this. You know, I'm hot and just less it. Jay, Jay walking act like they got the right of way type. Yeah, hey, but I be wanting that's, them motherfuckers that, to get hit. That's her dad got killed. Though, no, man. I'm not talking about her dad. I'm talking about I'm talking about you know motherfuckers. Talking about he was Jay walking, man. No, I'm not saying her dad. Nah, you know, I'm trying to throw me under the hey, move. No, no hell no. Nah. It got nothing to do with me. No, no, no. I'm talking about no, no, no. I'm saying. He's an idiot, bro. No, I'm talking about the people. Don't send the barbs over here. Listen, man, y'all was tripping, man. I'm over it, What man. you were saying, brother? Nah, about the hit I don't want to talk about the shit no more, man. Let me, see, let me tell you what happened to her dad, brother. It was reported yeah. that the man who killed Nicki Minaj's dad in the hit and run and sentenced to one year in prison. Last year, Nicki Minaj's father, Robert Majors, what his name is, died in hit and run. He was 64 years old. He was thought to be walking in a Long Island when he was struck and taken to the hospital. Critical condition. Minaj father, it was this nigga named Charles Butlovich, like some Russian motherfucker, was seen on camera in various videos driving away from the scene. Butlovich told uh, officers that he would cover up the car in the garage, did things to alter it. Listen to this shit. His car from being able to be located. He covered up the car in the garage and did things so it won't be located. That's crazy. After turning himself in and pleading guilty on the two felony charges, he was a possible term of seven years, but it was reported that he was sitting to one year in February. Why? He hit him, ran, covered the car up, hit in the garage, only got one year for killing a old fool black man of a famous woman worth hundreds of millions of dollars. This is called big white man mode. Called big Caucasian man. I got you, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you. Damn, what's your thoughts on that? R. Funny. Kelly got 30 years. The fucking bitches that want to fuck him. That's a whole totally different. Dude, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Damn! <laughs> bro, you are retarded. Shush! <laughs> this dude is... What's your thoughts? You can kill the fool, man. Or kill the fuck pussy that wanted to fuck him. Yeah. And he got 30 years. Yeah, bro. And listen, <laughs> listen, I don't know where you went with that one, but here's, <laughs> here's my thoughts on this. My thoughts is this. What's the backstory? I want to know the details. Was walking he, down the street, got so, hit by a car. Hit so, the car. but this is the point I was getting to, right? It, was he walking across the pedestrian mook and he just had the, the walking thing on and and then dude ran a light and hit him? Or was he like walking across the highway like the niggas would be thinking he can't get hit by a car? Like the meth head mooks. And then we just supposed to just stop for you because you walking in the car type? So you think Mick and Nicki Minaj, so you're saying you think Nicki Minaj's dad was walking no, down the highway. I'm saying I want to be hit like he's indestructible. No, I didn't say that. I said I want to see the details of the case, brother. I would like to know the details of the case before I give my thoughts on I it. Because he was I, walking down a Long Island street. Yeah, but they didn't say did he have the right of way? Was he walking? Was he walking in the middle of the street? Was he? You know what I'm saying? Or did he just abruptly walk from behind a car and then the car didn't see him? Then he hit him and kept going because that's fucked up. That's what he did. 
Or well, then that's fucked up then. Cause he could think about it, man. He know he hit him. He went home and covered up the car. That is fucked put up. Put it in the garage. Cause you should at least got to Did things to, help. to make his car look different. Yeah, that's Knowing true. you hit somebody. That was fucked finally up. Finally turned yourself in. That was fucked up. Because he was on the news. Because why are you trying to hide it and all that, though? You knew, that's the ultimate you knew doing you it. Him. You knew you killed him. Yeah, of yeah, Of course. Yeah. He saw the news the next so day. So right or wrong, he's wrong. Especially because of the hit yeah. run. Now, if you just sat there like, hey, my bad. Halle Berry done killed people in car crashes. Too short. Yep. Brandy, all these yep. people done killed. Uh, 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 Kaylin Jenner moved. Yeah, man. What's yep. the dude named Bruce Jenner? I ain't call him that. Uh, yep. Kill, kill oh, somebody shit. in a car accident. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> too, so it's like, uh, <laughs> hey, find it, brother. Oh, yeah. Lord! So it's like, hey, brother Bruce, he uh, he oh. killed the man. So it's like, come on, champ. How are you going? These people didn't kill people, but they stayed and, hey, I think Halle Berry type hid a little bit and rent and tried to hide a little bit, got caught. But, hey, it happens. You know what I'm saying? But you do this to this to this lady. That's that's, that's fucked up. Man. That is fucked. One up. One year, bro. Cause you try to hide it though. That is the bad part. So okay, so, so, so so if he didn't, if he if he would have did it and got out the car and tried to help, would he still be bad? Would he deserve to go to prison then? Nope. I don't. I don't. I mean, prison probably a little bit months or whatever they do the smaller stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it says since it's an accident. Year. Actually, this happened. If he ain't drunk enough, if he drunk. Hot, but we don't know. He was but you know hot. You, he was hiding from them days. No nigga probably drunk, high on meth. Oh, big heroin in the could have been hunt type. Yeah, that's why he got up out of there. Got to think about that, sir. That's true, too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then he really fucking wrong. Come on, man. So then if he high and drunk, then there's no way it could be her dad's fault then, right? I got to know the details of the case. I can't I can't give an opinion on it until I know the details of the case. Man. But here's what I can say, though, right? The thing is, is uh, with, hold on, what were you it's just at for So it's hard to know what he was doing. Yeah, that is true. But that's a good point to get all out of his blood type. Of course, man. Well, come on, man. You know what that is, man. Big white man move. Damn. Mm-hmm. Slick with it. Yeah. And he's 72 years old. They probably looked at his age. He admit he a businessman, admitted to doing it. Damn. You left him on the side of the road, boy. Yeah, left him on the street like a dog. That's what it said. Wow, that's her mom. The mom said that. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm reading the call right now. That's fucking crazy, bro. Look. He I ain't gonna lie, that shit bogus. He pled guilty for leaving the scene of an accident, causing a death, and tampering with evidence. Suspended his license for six months. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that you probably right. But I was about to say you gotta know the details of it though, because I'm pretty sure that they, they probably That man got some him. money, man. That man got some money. He had a good lawyer. He got some good connections. That's what it is, bro. It's no way you get in a year and you hit and run somebody. Then you hit a yeah. full famous, you know what I'm saying, chick dad and killed him? Yeah, fame shouldn't matter though. That nigga got a bag. No quid, big motherfucking goddamn bag, boy. Yeah. No question about that. Yeah, I mean, That's his, all the his community down. probably got behind him. Oh, for sure. You know, I ain't going to say that the, the race, but you know what race it is. You know what I'm saying? They come, well, from, they come from Jerusalem. Mm. Definitely that. The big no mama. Why can't you say the race? Come on, brother. What's up, Slim? Two What's things that? you never say you talk about, man. Two two communities. Oh, that is true. Just two. Just two. Don't do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trust me, brother. Can't even say the name? Nope. Damn. You just don't even fuck with it. Leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Leave it over there, brother. <laughs> let, let it stay there. Let, yeah. let, let a dying dog, let a dying dog die and lie. Okay, my dog Prince. Oh my I feel God, like you don't be leaving nothing off. You kind of like Boosie. You There's just... two that I don't touch though. I ain't ain't no Boosie nigga. Look at me. I'm handsome, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I would, hey, yeah, brother, yeah, I ain't man. judging no man. Oh, no man will be judged by me. Man, look at me, man. I'm man. talking about the way you talk, brother. Man, look at three of y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> three of them. No, but listen, okay, so Prince, we um going to Prince right now, Prince, you know, Minnesota. Don't forget I was at that that party with Prince, man. Yeah, you was, you was, you was. And I was there, there were ten people there. Give people a quick little recap. Yeah, was, listen, uh Minnesota Lynx won the championship a few years back, and then Prince loved basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's one of my organic tales. And then like after they won, I knew somebody on the Lynx team. I ain't gonna say no names, but you know, but I do what I do. Do Saltane playing band? Yeah, yeah. So they was offered to come back to his crib after they won the championship for a personal concert. And it was like only you and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a friend can go out of everybody on the team. So there's only like 30 people there. Right. And now uh, we pulled up to his crib. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. We got the, what was that place called again? Uh, Prince's Crib? Yeah. Fuck. I don't, something. How the fuck I forget? I'm from Minnesota. Huh? Yeah, that's a big thing. That is a big but thing. But anyway, we pulled up to Prince's Crib and all that. We go in there. It's all dark in that motherfucker. I'm sitting there chilling. We in there chilling. Like, man, ain't no big fucking Prince finna come in this motherfucker. All here is. I'm looking it up. I hear, boom, I hear the guitar playing. I'm like, that motherfucker sounds smooth. Then, boom, purple rain. Paisley Park. Paisley Park, motherfucker. I'm in Paisley Park. I hear purple rain, purple rain. Look, I see that little nigga up there goddamn singing and dancing and playing goddamn singing and dancing. And motherfucking, uh, 
I'm doing everything. I'm like, damn, that's really Prince. This is crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right. And it was wild, bro. He went through all them good songs. Like I said, it was only like, it's only like 30 people there, bro. Yeah. And I never forget, because once he jumped down, he jumped down like three, four songs and went to the bathroom. He went past me and nudged me like, boom, watch out, nigga. I'm like, damn, motherfucker. I want to slap him his goddamn neck, but I was going to be crazy. Chris would beat your ass, man. Hey, man, he'd been a dead, man. He'd have died quicker than he did. <laughs> you Damn. stupid. You know what I'm saying, big. Gargoyle. But yeah, shout out to uh, Prince, man, for sure, man. That was a legendary experience. But yeah, yeah it says sure. right now. One of the all-time Minnesota greats, man. Just all-time all human greats. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Minnesota, like, you know, I always got to pay homage to the people from Minnesota oh, for because sure, I'm sure, born man. and raised in Minnesota. For sure, for sure, man. So Prince's estate is finally settled after a six-year court battle since he died. The late singers did not leave a will regarding this $150 million he estate. He had no wife or children. Uh-huh. So after the singer died in 2016, his six half-siblings were named legal heirs. So with that being said, they all split the money. $150 million would be split between six half-brothers and sisters. And I just did the That's math while he was over here. Um, that, sorry, $25 million. Oh, Lord! You know what I'm saying? So at the taxes, at the lawyers and all that, they probably walk away about $2 million. So, do you- Gargoyle. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> They'd be broke in a year. <laughs> Black man. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Come on, champ. <laughs> He'd be broken again, man. Damn. Big white man move. Cause you got, so, you got to think, though, that whole time. But he was probably feeding them, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, Who knows? Yeah, but-, but He fed a lot of people, though. See, little you know, sure. Prince was big at like, helping the communities. He was doing big time things. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's a big real North Side nigga. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know big in the Minnesota. Yeah, don't get yeah, with, the, no with the philanthropy say, work. Yeah, show. no one's going to say he not was one of the ones. Like, he really was- one of the ones. In all aspects. Super giving. Right. And it's whatever. I never met nobody that met him to say he wasn't the most giving person That's in history. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like that Carlos Boozer story. Like, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. Was crazy. Yeah, no, you know what else I seen too? Uh, I just watched recently was the shit. I didn't know Michael Jackson and Prince had that crazy beef like that. You didn't know that? Nah, hell no. Nah. It was always the I watched too. one where he fully broke it down, though, to oh, see. Yeah, like, serious. His Prince swing off a pole, and then Michael was making fun of him type. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It was a battle between who the greatest, because, you know, Prince did everything. Right. Wrote, did everything. See, yep. He knew Mike was just a face. So yeah. he was like, nigga, you can't And a voice. Me. But he was way bigger than him. So he was like, nigga, but I'm really that nigga. Right. So it was like a battle, you know what I mean? Yeah, Which is yeah. a shame. They never did nothing together. They you think Mike's way bigger than Prince? They named it close. It's not even close? They named it close. Nobody care about Prince like that, bro. I got to give it to Prince, Compared man. to Mike. He yeah, from yeah, Minnesota, yeah. so I got to give it to him. That. I got to give it to him. Your light skin niggas trying to unite, man. <laughs> Michael light skin. Oh, I'm going to stay. The hell he is. I'm staying with my black brother, <laughs> He Mike. was light skin, brother. He, man, he was blacker than me, It man. counts at the end. No, the it end. don't. <laughs> That's not his skin. That was man-made. Bro. We're going from the DNA. Bro, you stupid. Man, we're going from Mike, nigga. We got that Ronald Reagan. <laughs> That Ronald Reagan inauguration, man, that was the might be the flyest human ever walked. There's no homo sapien. But that outfit, how he was standing with that curl, I'm glad that nigga was not to be fucked with yeah. ever. I ain't never seen a nigga come that cold on nothing in life. No homo sapien when the come part. But yeah. yeah. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? God, that nigga stupid. was, that, that was crazy. That outfit. Right. Come yeah. on, bro. When he was sitting in any of that one of these wars, we were sitting there with the socks, the good yeah. socks with the. Come I don't on. think I recall. Hey, pull it up. Pull up, Mike. Got the motherfucking goddamn. Pull it up, Mike. Was Michael it the Jackson. black outfit with the moon? No, nah, it was the gold jacket or the blue jacket. One of them. It was well, two. It had all the little glittery shit. Yeah, right? man. Yeah, we were sitting there in the yeah. seat, sitting down. Yeah, I'm acting down. That nigga was clowning, man. You know what I mean? That's like that's one of them. Like what they were. No, I, you look up the inauguration of. Put the Ronald Reagan, yeah. Not the gold jacket, Ronald Reagan. Gold jacket. Like, Everybody know that gold jacket. That gold jacket crazy. I mean, all this fits, so Mike was with the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on with the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. that Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm WX. Yeah, he's like, said, is he a black man or is he a black man? Black yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He's light skinned right there, though. Nah, nigga, look at him. Look how Black is black, brother. With one glove on, not two. Look at him. Oh, yeah, he was acting down. He might think about it. He's a trendsetter for sure. Man, leave him. Why, then, Quincy, why Quincy Jones said everything with him was stole type, though? He was, I they're going to say that, man. Quincy Jones, relax. But what I'm saying, too, is like. He was like. Uh, uh, Quincy Jones, look. You ever watch that documentary? You gotta watch that documentary, Quincy Jones. I watched that. Of course, yeah, that I've was legendary. Yeah, Quincy Jones, one of the ones. Quincy yeah, Jones, for sure. One of the ones. And all but, the people that he was cool with, all that, all them historical all time greats, all dead. Done it all. He, he went in there, and all of them are dead. He's the only one here. He said that. Damn. He done it all, seen it all, been through it all. Everybody. Shit. Everybody. And, and this, this is how cold Michael is, and that's what I'm gonna say. Like him, even Prince, even Elvis, mm. they were so cold, right? Them outfits were so legendary, right? Facts. So trendsetting. Yep. But niggas ain't wear it. Niggas ain't do it. That's how legend they are. They set trends. No one followed them, but they understood them. Yeah. They didn't. Nobody was dressing like that. Right. Uh, but if we knew what it was, niggas was having that on. I ain't never seen nobody no, with that. No, outfit I know, on. but if, niggas probably walking to the club trying. Niggas to get wasn't back walking there. like this, man. I ain't never seen niggas. With, I mean, 
<laughs> niggas wouldn't come walk around like that, man. It was only he could do it, man. Yeah. Niggas wouldn't wear Phil Elvis outfits, man, in the club, man, doing backflips and shit. No, man. it wasn't. It was just for them. But it was so legendary, we still got it. Yeah. They said it trends that was so historical, but it was just for them. Yeah, because you ain't never seen nobody in that one that go more. Right. He's acting dumb, man. So I shout out to point. him. You know what I mean? Niggas try to do the thriller jacket, like a little jacket, but I mean, not. Eddie no Murphy food. on the raw and delirious, that type was a bite of Michael type. Yeah, yeah, Michael was yeah. coming out with that kind of oh, shit. Oh, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about niggas just every day walking around. They did the jacket. Now that jacket was war. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For but sure. niggas won't walk around like Niggas walk around like that for sure. Which one? Back then, this the one right here in, in the beat in the no, that's Billy Jean. That's I think. Billy Jean. That yeah. was like a dumb Billy Jean. Yeah, he was like a dumb. Yeah, yeah, he, he was like a dumb. Yep, yep, What's yep, wrong yep. with him? Yeah, he was like a dumb. Come on, man. He was like a dumb. Michael's that nigga. Yeah, he was. Hey, well, hey, I know. Why I just seen a little you? side piece See, right the there. One. Look at that fit, man. Yeah, I seen a little uh, little side piece over there though. J Lo and Ben Affleck though, they got back together. They fully married and all that. How you feel about that? J Lo, weirdo, man. The fuck out of here. Washed up, man. All them husbands and all that weirdo shit, man. Get out of here, man. Go on, scat, man. No, care about her, man. She a bum, bro. <laughs> she been ran through all these dancers and all that. She be marrying niggas and all that weirdo. She weird, man. She got kids too. Nobody want that, man. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Know. We thought she was just like Halle Berry. Like, that's, oh, well, y'all some weirdo. Something really wrong with y'all, man. Nobody want y'all, man. man. Get out of here. Fine and all that, bag and all that, but something is not right. Bitch, get gone, both of them. Halle Berry, Jello, no one wants y'all, man. Y'all weird. <laughs> y'all on Britney Spears type time with yeah. this schizophrenia. Oh, you know shit. Saying? Yeah, and then you heard me. Yeah, she Brittany just got married, got married to her. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Nigga, come on, man. Congratulations to her. Board, man. Oh, damn. Get out no, of here. No, they didn't say everything's right, though. It's just her dad was, what they were saying. What her dad? Her dad was just making her like that. But look at her now. She's way worse. <laughs> I, I mean, I ain't, she ain't cut her hair up or nothing like that. <laughs> man, she's being naked on the Instagram and all that. I can dumb doing the weird dances and bug out like Shaggy, Shaggy do on her hair and all that. She embarrassing, man. Shut up, my nigga. All Mark her Anthony. kids, at least all her kids was just Mark Anthony, though. You sure about that? The, yeah, I'm pretty sure about that though. Pretty is the pr might be. Yeah, I think they always just Mark Anthony. Man, she got married six times, man. That's weird. Has it been six times? I think so. Yeah, that's a lot of time. I got married one time. I can't imagine doing that shit six times. Come on, man. With hundreds of millions, like how many times you gonna risk that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, weird as hell, man. We get out of here. We don't care. Shout out to being Affleck double she, the back. But she probably ironclad prenups type though. I mean, that first oh, no singer question. dude ran off with the bag, though, I think. Yeah, yeah he, he ran off. The, the, oh, the mysterious dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he ran off with the but, bag. But, uh, yeah, um, And then even one of her backup dancers, she even got one of yeah. One thing you got to respect with her, though, brother. She take whatever. She, 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 hey. she went whatever. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. High, low, up, anything I always in wanted to run a tour. I thought I could get her out of the yeah. tour. I was trying shit. I think you'd get her. I went to one of her concerts. You probably still get her even with Ben tight. Uh, easy. Yeah, huh? Come on, I'm Mr. Organic. He Batman. They don't compare. And Ben probably still big. Uh, ben Affleck probably big fan to you. Big, he big, know who big, I am. He, yeah. I saw him got a year shine. He didn't compare to anybody. Oh than yeah, mine. yeah, yeah. Nigga. He yeah. got that because you. He's a yellow one too. Yeah, I think I think I think, I think Ben I fuck with did. you. I think Ben a fuck with man, you. Man, I appreciate you being, being even part after, of the campaign. Even after you take his girl tight, he gonna still rock his with wife. Him. You know what I'm saying? He, he said he was like a real process to get away from his last Jennifer Garner, where it was. He like that was hell to get away from her. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, he was married to her for a while. He said it was like hell on earth. He just wanted to get out, but he couldn't. Damn. That's I know that's a crazy scenario when you're stuck in something and you want out but you just can't. I'm not getting to nothing I can't get out I of. I mean, but Fuck there had that. to be if if that's how you would feel, there had to be you warning marry signs kids, before then. Money, you know what I'm saying? But there had like to that. be warning signs though. Of course it's warning signs, but you got you locked get out in. early. But you locked, but it's too late. Never too, too late. Too many kids, big business money. That nigga like it's too much going. He did yeah. it. He did it, but so it's it never hard. too late. Yeah, I, man, listen, bro. I feel I can't do it, bro. Yeah, I, need, yeah. I need always a way out, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I listen, here's the thing. If you don't feel like I mean, people change, people evolve, but yeah. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, in that world of what they're doing and all that shit, like it might just be different over there. You there know gotta what I'm be. I hope it is, because that yeah. shit look weird to me. But then guess though, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's always a before the blow up, there's always a trail of some fucking red flags and some shit going on. You yeah, know what I saying? believe so. So yeah, but no, uh, and then you know what I was gonna say too. Is remember uh who, who got over too? Uh remember the uh Jesse James with uh Central Bullock? Who got over at that? They both know. rich, nigga. What you talking hey, about? No, 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 no. But yeah, maybe get over is a bad word. Yeah, but them both was see, get out. I should say get he out. Got out that she got out though. Yeah, they both was well yeah, yeah, filthy but with she's it. She's the one that type, you know what I mean? Got over on him? No, I didn't say get over it. I said get out. I said yeah, that was a bad yeah. word, brother. Yeah, cause I know. Cause I'm I meant to say get out. Yeah, because you just because they both had a super bag. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying but, so it wasn't that. But yeah, he was he was big. Uh, Tiger Woods with the pussy yeah, though. Yeah, had to be. Look yeah, at yeah, him. He, he was big, playing. going crazy. Yeah, he had to. Yeah, Shout yeah, yeah. out to Justin yeah. James, man. He was on <laughs> first. They started to say it was some racist nigga shit. He just white. Y'all gotta stop trying to
big white man mode. Like y'all be tripping. Like we know what it is. They ain't blatantly not doing stuff. They just white people, it's man. Being white. They all talk about us behind our back like that. They all think we <laughs> niggas. They all think we niggas and all that shit, man. Right. They fuck with us, but they all do that, man. But it's not okay though. This real of course it's not okay, but it is right. what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just accept it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If they do a problem, we're gonna challenge it and help correct them, help them grow. Cause they mm. motherfucking need to remember them motherfucking devilish. But yeah. <laughs> don't be surprised when it happens. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I try to go crazy on Joe Rogan. Like well, he's saying it blatantly on his podcast. What yeah. y'all trying to cancel? Well, man? you're pretty good at dealing with people like that, but yeah, I'll tell yeah, you I get that. it. Cause yeah, I can yeah, have that conversation. Good you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, an open yeah. dialogue. I ain't yeah. tripping because I understand. You know what right, I'm saying? Like, right. It ain't a big thing. <laughs> For now, sure. If you say it, Timmy trying to be crazy, then we're going to get it in blood. But, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to just call me that. Like, I'm yeah. going to do it just off principle. You know what I mean? Right, right. Just because I ain't going to let no nigga say nothing to me crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. you just trying to violate me as a human. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. take care of that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But if you're doing some behind closed door, they catch you in a secret recording or something. Nigga, who right. gives a fuck? All right. What do you do if it's, do do it's a white woman that say it to you? You know what I'm saying? Mashallah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure. <laughs> We know, if a white, oh, we know if a white boy said it to you. Yeah, anybody can get it, man. Don't play with me. White bitch, white man, don't play with me. Smack the fuck out of any one of them motherfuckers. I ain't giving no passes. Nigga, we gonna deal. I got money. I go to court, man. Don't play with me like that. Smack the don't, motherfucking don't, bitches. Don't say it at you. Don't do it. Man, don't play with me. But man. once they around, they just say it. I ain't, man, I check them if I want to. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. They doing like it in song. Like, niggas be mad they be saying in rap songs. Come on, dumb yeah. nigga. It's a fucking song. You shouldn't have wrote it that way. Nigga, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Like, what y'all mad at? You know what I'm so saying? So they around you, like, nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm going to check them. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it by me. Right. But I ain't going to be mad. I'm like, hey, bro, I don't like, you, you probably sing that with your other friends or the song in your car. They're cool. like, fuck you, nigga. And we're going to their teeth going to be out. <laughs> if they're lucky, I might go full fandom on them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You never know the level I go. I don't know sometimes. Right. I might fan this whole motherfucker uh, out, bitch. Oh, uh, shit. Fuck boy, it. You know what I'm saying? You Keep that shit away from me. And yeah. I ain't going to be mad at him. I'm just checking. I ain't, bro. I ain't, I ain't one of these little goofy need like, like crackers tell that shit around me, bro. It's cool, yeah, but yeah. don't do it around me, crackers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't do it like that. You know what I mean? I ain't going to be like that mad. I'm just going right. to check him. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't play that. Yeah, I don't like yeah, crackers yeah. saying that just shit. a little quick me. one. Yeah, that's all. Boy, yeah. like, boy, I don't yeah. do that. You know Stop it. Yeah, go on, scat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go around your own little nigga nerd friends and do that shit down here, yeah, bro. It's, it's cool. cool. It's not cool over here. Yeah, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For sure. That's all. I'm just going to check a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Some little, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sometimes little white bitches, before you fuck them, you let them say it a couple times and they be like, oh, shit, you ain't got no? Go ahead, fuck them. After you fuck them, hey, bitch, don't say that no more. You know what I'm saying? You get some of the good white girls that say that shit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You be chilling like, damn. So when I fuck this bitch, bitch, you ain't gonna say that no more. You hear me? It's over. Man, I'm with my niggas and all. You be like, ha ha, you crazy. The jig is up. Yeah, yeah, you gonna let them do it. You let it get off a few times, few times. Like, okay, yeah. Let me hurt me fuck this bitch. Soon I get done fucking, listen up, white bitch. Don't say that shit like no more. You hear me? You hear me? Because the jig is up. Bitch, I don't like that shit. Right, right. Before you might throw off the calibration, might not let you fuck you check it too fast. Right, right. They want to fuck the pussy. Yeah, yeah. So let's just deal with it a little bit, get a little oh, color rocks off. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And go to after you fuck, you come with that real shit. Yeah, yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Sometimes, especially fine enough and the ass fat enough, you go, hey. You yeah, you got a little spread on it, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Choose. We can let a little couple of niggas off and my nigga over there. I, I'm like, my nigga, I'm saying, I mean, these Long as she ain't being ill about it. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 she just no ill will Yeah, she, she just want to be part of the culture. She, <laughs> she love our culture. Damn. She just want to be part of the culture, brother. See, y'all, see, just roll with niggas. Y'all ain't letting people part of the culture. Y'all take it too personal. Yeah. <laughs> see that ass on that bitch? She can say it. She yeah. Damn. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> she, she got a few passes up. Leave her, that's mine. Leave her alone. <laughs> you don't, you nigga don't, that's mine. You shut up. Oh, shit. You can say it, baby. Oh. We ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, think, not... you think that's how LeBron James sound? Brownie was doing with the white girl. He had a problem oh, with it? Oh, yeah. You of think, course he was. You think that's how he was acting? Shout out to Brownie, man. You in that motherfucker. You on big. <laughs> big white man move. <laughs> yeah. Big Caucasian, man. And they try to put my nigga Brownie down for that, man. He do what he want to yeah. do, man. He living life. He smoking uh, big. We smoking big. We yeah, fucking yeah. white hoes, nigga. Yeah, yeah Brian. Yeah. Go crazy, oh, champ. Shit. Just like this your daddy. Nigga. Damn. <laughs> we know about you, boy. Sure. No, you so stupid, man. You know it. One of the ones. Yeah, oh. boy, I done heard about you, boy, using my turn, yeah. nigga. Three of them is fucking you know funny, man. But yeah, I ain't, I ain't tripping. I ain't, yeah. gonna, I ain't tripping on them, nigga. Everybody do what they want to do, man. Woo. You know hey, man, saying? episode 29, man. Oh, episode 29, oh, man. Shit. We coming through back to back to back to back to back to back to back
Damn. <laughs> shit, yeah, hey, brother boy. <laughs> Y'all be entertained by him. Listen, I'll be right here sitting next to him entertained like a motherfucker. What's up, Slim? Because this motherfucker is crazy, man. Damn. <clears throat> That's what we got to do. Hey, we man, God do, bless man. y'all, man. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope you got some good laughs out of this yeah, one, man. man we At the end of the day, time. yeah, it's just entertainment, man. Shout out to uh, my you know nigga saying? Elon Musk, too, man. He ain't buy a tweet. He said, fuck y'all. I ain't giving y'all 44 billion. Nothing. Fuck a Twitter. Hey, I ain't man. giving y'all 44 billion for the Oh, he pulled back? Yeah, so far. And hmm. he getting sued about that. But hey, shout out to Elon Musk, man. Fuck them, nigga. Don't give him. Keep your 44 <laughs> billion, nigga. He sold all your Bitcoin, too, nigga. You left us hanging, motherfucker. But it's okay. Shout out to Elon Musk, man. But yeah, episode 29, man. We so divine, yeah. man. We out We're doing here, great shit, man. For sure. Hope y'all rocking with the campaign, man. Like, Absolutely. share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, spread this around. Yeah. Spotify, bro. TikTok, Instagram, all the, instant, the all the links are below in the description. In the world, man. <laughs> top 10, you know what I mean? Yeah. The best, most ferocious Five stars, podcast. Spotify. Five shots, Spotify. Give us some comments below. Give us some questions. Top Blue Podcast that. clips. Yeah, everything. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe motherfucker. Actuals. You hear me? And don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't uh, forget. Hit that. Love it, Slim. Go subscribe. There you go. Hey, my right. Mr. Organic, subscribe to me too. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, fucking you know right. Man? You got to do that. We need anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, go sure, to organiclifestyle.com. Get the merch. <laughs> Get the merch. It's stream, only right. Stream the music. All streaming platforms too. Mr. Organic. So they be like, hey, Mr. Organic, man, where I get your music from? You stupid bitch. <laughs> Same as you get, goddamn, you go get the Beatles. Same where you go get Michael Come Jackson. On, stupid motherfucker. What asking the Romito ass crazy? Man, I was wondering, man, where I get your music from? You stupid, ignorant, piece of shit, oh, peasant brain shit. motherfucker. The same place you get Jay-Z. Same place you go get goddamn Twab Lip Kweli. Mm -hmm. Same place you go get goddamn Common. Same place you go get Metallica. Did I forget anybody else? One of the ones. Episode 29. Right. We're up out of here, man. So Keep it pure, keep it positive. activated and you went deactivated. That was that quick. Damn. That, that's his real personality. Man, we out of here. Episode 29. Can't wait Black to see y'all. Episode boy. 30. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, What's up, Sean? The G is on. Shut up. Stay tight, guys. It's crazy. Top of the move. Started at the bottom. Yeah. Dreamt of a Hellcat. Now I got it. Dreamt of a Corvette. Now I got it. Taking big leaps of faith. No doubts about it. Made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Every time she see me, nigga, she just cracks a smile. I made my mama proud, made my mama proud. Every time she see me, she just cracks a smile. Nigga, three.